Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ryan here with Blue Line Optics, and today we're going to go over FFP scopes. So, if you're new to shooting, uh, or maybe just not quite as familiar with what like an FFP scope is, or an SFP scope is, this is going to be a great video for you, because we're going to go into it in, uh, in pretty good detail. So, what FFP stands for is first focal plane, and that's what this scope is right here. Uh, and a uh, first focal plane scope designates that the reticle is going to be on the first focal plane of the of the scope and the first focal plane is right here right below the ocular lens so this scope right here or not the ocular lens sorry the objective lens and this scope here is the Athlon Argus BTR and the the components of the scope are this is the objective lens and this is the part where you point towards the target or to whatever you're shooting at and that's going to be what's taking the light into the scope and passing it through the assembly, which then comes out the ocular lens, which is right here, that goes to your eye. Okay, and inside this tube right here are two pieces of glass where when you turn this magnification right here, which, well, on this particular scope is right here, it brings those two pieces of glass closer together, which enhances the image and makes the image bigger, right? So what's going to make an FFP scope, which is first focal plane, different from an SFP scope is the positioning of the reticle, okay? So first focal plane scope, the reticle is right here, right below the objective lens. So when those two pieces of glass are getting pushed together and that image is getting bigger, that reticle is getting bigger as well. Now, on the contrast, we have a scope like the Athlon Neos, which is this one right here. And this one's reticle, this is a single focal plane, or yeah, a, a second focal plane, sorry, not single, a second focal plane scope. And this one, and in a second focal plane scope, the reticle is right here, right by the magnification adjustment. Okay, so it's after the, uh, the assembly on the inside that makes the picture bigger. And now what that means is that this reticle is going to stay the exact same size, no matter how much you twist this knob and how, uh, and how high the magnification goes. Okay, and so what the main difference is between these two and why you would pick one over the other is obviously if you, if you wanna be able to keep your adjustments the same, uh, no matter what your magnification is, then you're gonna to have to use something like a first focal plane. Because on a second focal plane, your reticle subtensions are only going to be valid if you uh, if you keep it at the same magnification that you made the original scope adjustment. Whereas on a first focal plane, those re those reticle subtensions are going to be valid no matter what, no matter how you adjust it. However, with first focal plane, what a lot of people run into, or the problems a lot of people run into, are that the reticle, since it's getting bigger with the picture, it's also kind of blocking that picture. It's making it, it's making the target more obstructed. And this can kind of get in the way when you are making certain adjustments. So with hunters, a lot of times, SFP does the job. And it makes it, uh, it, it, it just make, they, they prefer it because it doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't block the, the target at all, or not at all, but it doesn't block it nearly as much, but also because they're not really too concerned with adjusting magnification too much. And they're not really too concerned with making shots that are up to like a thousand yards or whatever. Whereas if you are concerned with, with those kind of making those kind of tactical adjustments, you are gonna to wanna to go with something like an FFP scope. And, or, and if you uh, are shooting up to like a thousand yards or something like that, usually an FFP scope would be one that you would, uh, that, that you would wanna go with as well. So that's, that is what FFP scopes are and SFP scopes. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much.